Oh. I don't know if I remember that. Hey there, everyone! This is Aokao playing The Grid of WarioWare. And, uh, so this is kind of funny, because we're gonna be playing this at this, you know, slot until, um, the advent proper starts. If that's on the 13th, that means that will be, like, four days. And it turns out doing one of these things is in four parts, so I guess we'll be having, a uh, Nature Ninja pre-Christmas, four in a row. I am down with that. All right, let's just get going. Hair scare. Clear ten points. Rabbits are fleeing this Game Boy Advance. Kind of like Seeging from, um, keep them inside. Kind of similar to, you know, like, like you know, you kind of linked with uh, Nine Ball. There we go. Yeah, okay, press, okay, you can only have, okay, well, that's, that didn't happen. You cannot pound, you can have more than one hammer existent at the same time. I forgot to check how many points I need, or at the very least my eyes went over it, but... Uh, do not remember. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm extremely struggling immediately. Wow, how many I need? Clear? 10 points. Okay, so... Low point clear, okay. So don't worry about it. Alright, carrot screen. Here we go. We unlock the carrot by... Getting a bunny. There we go. Okay, and it doesn't need to be simultaneously. Okay. Alright, all my answers are questions. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. This makes it a lot more viable. Here we go! Pound! Yeah, I did it. That bunny is now paste. Bunny paste. Add it to your stocking right now. I don't know why. And I'm not sure why destroying the bunny is like turning the screen on. This is a very strange Game Boy Advance that does not conform to ordinary advanced Game Boy rules. Was this modded? Is this why the Nintendo is so against the concept of modding consoles? Because it will conduct animal violence? Because, uh, sure, okay, like, like, I'm in that end, like, I kind of understand the pound, pound. Uh, okay, so yeah, you know, like, we, we had a bit of a struggle at first. Whoops. But, uh, look, I know, after getting warmed up a little bit, looks like we're ready to use a magical ghost hammer that appears exactly where it needs to go as long as I will it there. Ooh, but at high speed, if you miss, you probably are not, yeah, you are not given the chance to... Like, this is interesting, because I feel like the game itself isn't, like, faster. Uh, I feel like the bunnies are still coming out at roughly the same speed they used to. It's just that you have... You don't have, like, a let afterwards. So, that like, you have to pound them immediately. Whoops, and there, uh, my, my thumb slipped. Whoop, and there also my thumb slipped. Slippery thumb for you and me. Hair scare. I did clear ten night and more than half, so we're gonna move here. Go for the tater. I swear. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Help the gopher get to the potato, but avoid the rocks. That makes sense. Burrow, not borrow. I'm gonna dig. Oh, it's this one. Whoa, it's a sweet potato, yeah! Enjoy your meal, buddy! Uh, okay, you gotta hold. It's not press a direction, then he goes there. You're like, you press once, and he goes once. Got it. And he barks because it's a prairie dog! Alright, okay. This all makes sense. Rook. Uh, got it. Okay, so... Um, the dude, what? Okay, so there's some nuances in the controls here I'm struggling with. Uh, you want to turn early. Yes. Okay, because there is a very strict, like, sort of, like, tiling system. And so, and it's going to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? You know, like, it's going to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you press, you, you hold a direction, it's gonna wait until you clear that tile, and then it's gonna turn, so... Turn early! It's, it's all good. There's a word for that, and it's just not coming to my head, and it's like a very basic word that I should know. But it's, it's, it's not there. Whoa, whoops. Buffer! Buffer! There you go. You can buffer your direction. And in fact, I feel like this game entirely works around the idea that you're gonna be buffering all the directions. 
Lots of rocks on this ground, though. Like, what happened here? Oh, jeez. What is going on there? I guess, I think I pressed up for not long enough. Whoa. God damn it. Can I do five in a row? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, here the, the rhythm change is like eating my soup right from underneath me. It's very rude. Ah, uh, what? Wait, no. How did you go down, though? That should not have happened. We're back exactly to how I was when I died last time. It's pretty good. Here we go. Come on, I can do it, probably. No, I can't. I cannot do it, apparently. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it now. Uh, uh, uh. Now I actually do have it. Okay, jeez, wow, yeah, this one is hard. Uh, and then I just kind of fly on the handle. What? Wow, no, yeah. Uh, pretty hard to control at some point. I mean, it's like that on purpose. Like, you wouldn't think, right? It's just moving like that. Like, basically, you know, on very strict lines. Essentially, but uh, yeah, it's the strict tilingness means that you're not just moving. It's interesting. Veggie might uh, 15 points pick the veggies when the sprouts appear. Who knows what will show up? I don't know. So move and pick. We got a lot of, like mo like I feel like nature games are like. Like, kind of complicated. Like, not complicated, but I feel like there's more games that are, like, a little bit more involved. Uh, there you go, right on the thing. Wow, one of those is, like, all roots, and the other one's, like, a bit more of a core. Doing it, doing it. Yeah, that was a key in a car! That's ridiculous! Those don't grow in a garden. It's always gonna be the same order? Because if that is so, like, that changes things. No, it's not. Okay. All right, I mean, uh, you got me wondering here, little buddy guy. Here you go. Still a uh, key car, is it always the same? I don't know. Whoa, check it out. We got a beat over there on a plate, floating up in the sky. Oh, whoa, see, there I got, got. Oh, that counted, okay. Some games that would have counted, others that would not, I feel like. Okay, it's being pretty nice here, as long as, you know, as the thing is visible, it looks like. It's willing to give it to me. I appreciate uh, the strange Mr. Game & Watch. It's like... What? The plant grew twice from the same spot. That's... That is very unplausible. I, 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 I don't want to say impossible, because I don't know, but... No. Nah. And once again, I got tricked. I mean, I won, though. So it's fine. But how do you explain this? Like, it's just like, that just should not be. See, but there, I hesitated, because I wanted to see where the plant would grow. And I got, I got, I got punished for that, you know? I hit a fail state. Uh, and there I would have, I, I, there I did not have physically enough time. You just stop at 20. 20, where it's end. You got enough uh, food there for a banquet. A banquet of cars. <laughs> the best kind. Disc Odog, 15 points. Make the dog jump to catch the flying frisbee. You're allowed to use frisbee, not flying disc? Ah, he wants to play. I remember this game giving me issues in the original. Like the timing I thought was weird back then. I mean, that, that wasn't weird. But also, I think I'm like slower than I would be. Like, I think it's one of those games that only pop in later. I don't know. Then there's the angle, and then there's hopping dog, and then, you know, you train your dog and stay on his hind legs and show off the X on its belly. It's supposed to be the belly button. You think fur would cover it? Welcome to the world of cartoon animals. Like, its tail is like 
Cause this weird like little anglerfish thing, so like I don't know what's going on with that dog. It's a scribble dog. Scribble dog on the great green field uh, with little notches that look like they're made out of chalk. Like this is happening on an interactive blackboard, green board. They call it blackboard, but like theoretically, like they're green sometimes. But I mean, I remember now thinking about it. Most of them I count in my life, I felt were black, but I don't know if that's like real memory or fake memory, because human memory, very unreliable, just like in general. It's, oh, you missed. See, that's what how I remember this game going all the time. Just missing to this and going like, wow. But again, I've said this before while playing the grid at some point. Playing the games in the grid is easier than playing them in, in like in the real game because in the real game you don't know what's going to happen but when you're playing grid style you know exactly what's going to happen and you, you know you kind of set yourself up right like you, you kind of like uh, you kind of set yourself up to do a specific thing at a specific time and that is a world changer in terms of just making this like a lot easier like it is a lot simpler to do like this because I know what's gonna happen, I know what to look for, I am ready. Which is not true when you're, you're you know... Oh, I did it. See, maybe like I'd be going right out of the gopher looking for a potato. And then you do that? That's a lot harder. Disco dog. Alright, got two more to do. Hoppin' mad! So mad! Ten points, he's so angry. Pay attention and try to catch the ball. If you hit stones or walls, you'll bounce off. Okay, so move left, right, move forward. Oh, okay. Oh, right, yeah, you turn yourself. And then you do that. Okay, got it. Super weird. I understand why this is ten is a tenner. Ugh. Whoa, what? You're a man. I, I like you better as a frog. Can you go back? This is probably a rude thing to request. But you know, like I like, I like the, the little froggy. It's just like adorable. Would you not rather be a super adorable little uh, frogaroo doodle? I think so. Like whatever, man. Also, you were transformed with your clothing. Oh, whoops. That was a that was a metallic sound. Uh, that's like you just ran into sheet metal there. <laughs> just bang. It's, I mean, it's great that I don't think the frogo was hurt. It's just got it really funny. Oh, whoa, that is, uh, yeah, no, like, that's just, like, so hard. Like, I mean, I won, it doesn't matter. Like, their controls are very not precise. I think you, you can, you have a general sense of that, watching me attempt to control this. Yeah, the controls are kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, they're fine if you have time. But reduce time, and it's like, oh no. It is very clear how the controls are failing me, but it's fine. They realize that. Spunky monkey, don't misread that. 15 point, use the trees to jump higher. Isn't that just mass jump? Grab bananas. Little monkey. Yeah, it's not just not mash. Yeah, this is a mash game. We're just gonna make, we're gonna mash. And a monkey's gonna jump. So put your hands together and mash. Uh, I could you not climb? Like I feel like those trees are heavily textured, and you wouldn't have any problems just um, you know climbing, putting your hand around like the stumps and whatnot, and just you know what though, monkey, you do what you do. Personally, I'd be worried about the setup for these bananas because it's just like a banana bunch you'd find at a grocery store on what appears to be a chain or a rope. Like an extremely artificial construction here. I mean, the bananas in love. Like, that's all good and all. But, um, I'm worried, you know? They don't, you know, as soon as the banana gets caught by the monkey and he full body hugs it. Like, you know, the game, the, the, the world sort of gets swept away inside Wario's big face. We don't know what's happening behind the scene when the scene cuts. Personally, I'd be a little bit worried. Like, I, I just, uh, this feels like a setup. I guess it could be an enclosure and they put the banana on a rope like that, uh, for stimulation. 
I guess that would work. I guess that would make sense. Uh, that is a much more charitable, like, happier take on the scene that's going on. But I don't know, man. The world of WarioWare is a cruel and uh, uh, heartless one. And so I feel like taking um, sort of like... I don't know, man, a darker interpretation more often than not, I'm afraid, just might be more accurate. And, like, I know uh, Doom Scrolling or Doom Wario Wing, as it's called, like, you know, is a bad thing, you know? It, it just kind of takes over people's lives in the worst way, and, it, and it's just terrible, but, you know, you you can't, you also need to stay realistic. So you, you kind of have to find a balance. Oh, see there, because I didn't press button in time. Monkey had a bit of a slip, but I don't get it. Like, those trees look hyper-textured. How would you slide? Is your... are your hands buttered, little monkey? Were you wrapped in Vaseline before starting this experiment at the Philadelphia Zoo? Because, uh, that would, ex that would also be part of the explanation of what's going on here. You know, we have removed all friction of this monkey, and its dinner is hanging high above its head. What is it gonna do about it? Cry? Scream? No, it's going to wall jump. You know what? That's a way better result than everyone expected. Except for Professor Joe, who was really upset about the monkey being happy here, and that's weird. That raises some red flags, and yet, no one does anything about it. The end! So, um... Does this game has an end? <laughs> like, this is... This is, uh... I'm not struggling. I guess I can just say that. There is no struggle right now. Uh, we are, like way too high in terms of thing like I had mash mashers where like I feel that around 60 I think was around my highest I kind of forgot I'm gonna be real but like I didn't even fail once yet and I mean like I'm up there by the time like the timer is still like about halfway through uh, its timer so I'm, I'm a little concerned about the future of monkeys and bread because I'm gonna assume that they're gonna make banana bread out of the, the bananas. Like, they're gonna, not gonna let the monkey eat it. They're gonna take it back and make banana bread for themselves. But the monkey will get to watch them enjoy the banana bread, so, you know, they figure, well, you know, that's, you know, that's like, it's it's kind of a reward, you know, seeing their humans, uh, they get to see their humans enjoying themselves pretty good. One hundred! I never thought I'd see the day. I'm not even sure if the game is really getting any faster. So we might just hit uh, some little thing legit. Some little thing. What does that even mean, now, oh, cow? And then you know, like uh, a Roboros, we made it. We hit a dead end. Like if the games at some point reach a limit to how fast they can go, I feel like by now I would have hit it. But this is easy. Like, it just so turns out that this high-speed timing for the wall jumps here, for the jump mashing, the mashing corresponds exactly to my natural jumping rhythm, like my mashing rhythm. So, yeah. How's it going? Do you like monkeys? In real life, I do find monkeys a little bit unsettling, because they are, like, very similar to humans in many ways. That makes me kind of scared of them in real life, uh, because it's like, well, I know how dangerous an uninhibited human can be, and animals are a lot more uninhibited than humans. Uh, so you got a tiny, a tiny human that is still nonetheless way stronger than the tiny human would be. Right here, I don't know what it's gonna do. I can, I can kind of read its body language, but, you know, not with any form of, um, uh, precision, like only the broad strokes. I don't know, I find that, I find that worrisome. You know, like, there's like, a lot of kids movies that are around monkeys, at least back in the day. I don't know if monkey movies is still a thing. 
but they were once upon a time. Uh, uh, kids like, I guess because like, I guess it's like similar to a clown, right? It's a thing that is similar to a person, except they're sillier and weird, but like weird in a fun way. I guess. I just, I don't know. You were in, ooh, there's, see, I slipped off it. I'm slipping! Is it the game getting harder, or is it my thumb getting more tired? Uh, I do not have an answer to give you. Because this is the rest of all time! That's all we're doing now. Like, at some point, you know, I'm gonna reach, like, session end, and I'm gonna just pause. I'm gonna put a save state, and we're gonna keep continuing. Until the end of the monkey world. Maybe we won't do that. We won't do that. <laughs> but for real though, like, this will keep going forever. I mean, maybe something's gonna happen to me IRL. Like, I'm gonna fall off my chair somehow? That would make it very hard to mash the jump button. Especially during the part where I would be confused and disoriented. Because I feel like that's what mostly would happen if that were... Well, 200! Shattering my PB here, and what's the most score I ever got on Wario's Zookbox? It's pretty good. Maybe I'll just do this for a little bit, and I'll just stay quiet. I don't know what to say at this point. I feel like I've spoken about every single thing you can speak about when a monkey is around. I haven't spoken about taxes, though. I don't feel like it. And still flawless. Whoops! Not punished. Still flawless. Oh, I missed, okay. So yeah, uh, I've been sorting my pills while I've been doing, like, I'm mashing with one hand. Uh, I'm just sort of sorting my pills for the upcoming week. And at the same time, I guess uh, I missed one of those. What was that? Anyway, here's 500, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, I was extremely distracted by uh, trying to close my pill container here. So that's why I died at the end. Uh, I, I, it's exactly like I said, it would have to be an outside force. Um, I could easily have gone to 999, but why? It's extremely mind-numbing. I'm kind of glad this was the last game because, uh, yeah. Imagine moving on to something else after that. Like, what the hell?